Welcome viewers. So here we demonstrate the procedure to make the isometric drawing from the given orthographic views so for an object uh, shown on the screen. So we have uh, the uh, orthographic views available for the object. So we have to imagine uh, how the pictorial drawing will look like. So as we follow the standard procedure, so we will note down what should be the height and the height length and uh, depth of the box that will just contain the object. So we note that the height is 4 grid spaces and the depth is uh, 5 grid spaces and uh, the length is 5 grid spaces. So we will make a box with the yellow color. So for that we will change the line color to yellow first. and. Uh, then we make the box in the isometric so for that so so as five grid space um, is the depth and the height is four grid space and uh, here the depth as well as uh, the length both are 5 so so initially I drew the depth direction so that uh, uh, the right side view can be accommodated in, in that so the, this part the next part next box which I am making as part of the box so that represents the front view that is also 5 grid space so and its height will uh, remain the same and uh, I can complete the box like this. After this I again change back the color of the line to white block and uh, start the drawing. So for uh, drawing here so you note so this uh, surface and we, we see a completely similar surface in the top view also in the front view and the top view have a similar surface so let us investigate if it is uh, an inclined surface to determine that we note so corresponding to the front view we have the inclined line here complete inclined line covering the whole height so we have uh, one inclined line here so from that so uh, this has to match exactly even with the top view then we can conclude it's an inclined surface so this uh, particular uh, uh, line indicates the inclined line indicates that its depth is 4 grid space and we note that in the top view also this uh, surface is having a depth of a 4 grid space only so 1 2 3 4 so the the inclined surface in which we resting the cursor is resting so that having four grid space uh, depth and the height also four grid space so and it's a location so edge by edge we can fix so this particular edge you note it is at the extreme bottom uh, at the bottom and at the extreme depth or uh, not not extreme depth it is on the top here so here you can consider this edge now the next edge is this one so for that the height increased by 4 and uh, the corresponding edge in the top view is uh, here and for that uh, we have to consider up to this point so up to this point the uh, change in depth is uh, uh, 4 grid space again so we move uh, here to draw the next edge so height changed by 4 grid space and the depth changed by 4 grid space so this way we reach here the next edge is uh, only changing the length by 1 grid space that we directly draw and uh, for the next uh, edge you note it's uh, an edge having uh, 2 grid space uh, decrease in depth uh, decrease in height and you have 2 grid space uh, 2 grid space uh, uh, movement along the depth direction so that we will follow here 
2 grid space height is decreased and 2 grid space is movement along the depth direction so we reach this point and next we have this edge where we move only along the length by 2 grid space so we from this point we move 2 grid space along the along the uh, length alone and we complete that edge uh, after this we find there is another uh, edge here so one grid space only so, so from here to here only we count so because we have to count it as a part of the surface so that edge uh, we note it it is decreasing it is increasing in length by one grid space and it is decreasing in height by one grid space and if you look at the uh, other view so uh, in that also the corresponding edge is available so here also you see the depth is also changing by one grid space so to move along this particular edge what we do we from the previous edge we decrease the height by one we reach here now we move along the length direction we reach here and next is we have to uh, reduce uh, its uh, we reduced the height we increased the length and now we have to move along the depth direction by one grid space so along the depth direction we move along by one grid space that is how we reach this point this point is reached and then you note the end point of this end point of uh, this edge so we start another edge which is uh, three grid space movement along the length direction so we will move that so from here three grid space one two three three grid space along the length direction we move and then the last edge is there so for the last edge we can see it is a movement along the height direction by one grid space a movement by one grid space along the depth direction and uh, there is no movement along the length direction so from here we reach the required point by decreasing the height by one grid space and the depth by one grid space we change so this will be reached now on the other side you again see a uh, surface of a, uh, almost of similar nature and uh, the corresponding surface is uh, visible in the um, top view also so corresponding to both of these surfaces we have an inclined line here in the front view so from that we can even conclude that this is also an inclined surface so visible in the side view so in the side view so this edge will be this edge and this edge this edge indicates it is at the uh, bottom of the uh, diagram and uh, on the extreme uh, depth so this is extreme depth this is uh, at the uh, front this is the front side and this is the rear side uh, rearmost side it is the extreme depth so this must be here so invisible from the side direction so this edge is here so next uh, edge is uh, almost uh, in the similar manner we will draw so we will change the height by one and corresponding to that we have a change in uh, length also by one grid space and uh, we have a change in one grid space of depth so it's a uh, so how we make the next next one is by uh, changing the height by one grid space changing the depth by one grid space changing the height and the uh, depth anyway change in the height and change in the length particularly not the not the depth depth did not change please uh, take care so depth did not change here so this is how it will reach now okay the next edge is uh, here so next edge is this one so here the movement is only along the uh, depth direction so here uh, only the depth is changing by three grid spaces 
so there is no movement in the length direction no movement in the height direction so we we go from here go three grid spaces one two three and you reach this point so similar way uh, we have uh, the next edge this one so one grid space uh, edge is there so that uh, that edge so we move along uh, the height by one and uh, we move along the depth by one we decrease the depth here by one grid space and here even uh, if you look at uh, in the front view so the corresponding edge here so moves by uh, one grid space uh, in the uh, or even uh, from the top view also you can see so that uh, edge uh, that particular edge moves in the length direction also by one grid space so 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 from this point uh, we have a uh, movement uh, along the we have the change in height by one grid space we reach uh, so from here to here we have a uh, uh, decrease in depth by one grid space we reach this is point and we have uh, movement along the length direction by one grid space so move along the length direction so we reach so from here to here so that is how we uh, again have another edge just overlapping with this one and next edge is having two grid space along the along the depth direction so that we complete and uh, uh, then we have uh, the edge with the two grid space uh, height change and two grid space uh, change in the length so that way uh, and then we have uh, ne next edge uh, one grid space along the depth direction and you have the last edge which uh, moves which joins to the previous uh, initial point so this is these are the two inclined surfaces that uh, are available so we just started with the, the inclined surfaces directly as you see at the top you have uh, the space for uh, the square so corresponding to the square you have the one single line in the front view one single line in even in the top view so you can easily conclude that there is a principal surface a small square surface is lying here now another thing that you see is uh, this square is seen from all three directions that only indicates at this particular su surface here so we have a square we have, we have a cube here so that cube uh, uh, can be imagined uh, through separate principal surfaces of these squares so this square can be imagined as a principal surface whose uh, uh, location is here so that location one grid space from that wall so from one grid space from that wall we have taken like this uh, similar way another principal surface is uh, seen so you can uh, draw that even from the top also there is another principal surface uh, seen so another thing you see is uh, so this triangle so that uh, small triangle so that a small triangle here and uh, you you have the corresponding lines here lines here so from that uh, even you can consider these uh, small triangles are also principal surfaces uh, so now the things have uh, become much clearer to how the object actually will look like so now in addition you note there were some hidden line here what there was a hidden line here in the top view and you note there is a surface here that uh, surface and you have this surface here at the bottom also Th there should be something visible from this surface you can uh, see uh, it its position uh, from the if, if you look at it from other directions you see it is uh, a principal surface uh, at this uh, end so th this one is also a principal surface corresponding to which this line at the bottom will run so that principal surface so actually uh, it uh, goes like this it must be from here and uh, up extremely 
it must be up to this point okay so it goes up to the extreme uh, extreme end but you all know It, that is uh, that portion is not visible and you have to only show the visible portion so you will uh, only show the visible portion of this surface similar surface is seen on this side also so you will complete the visible portion of uh, the other surface the principal surfaces at the uh, bottom of the uh, component so this way uh, the visible portions of all the surfaces uh, will be complete so thank you